Okay guys, uh, I really am very excited uh, to show you guys how to make a simple jig head and the lower into something like so irresistible like that. So Humphrey, what do you reckon this is good for? Like, it's really popular these days, um, jig heads with... Fast snapper. Snapper yeah. will find it irresistible. Um, flat is just anything you want to get that bit of extra even, movement. Even bass. Yeah, bass. Bass, bass you know? love it. You know, like love any skirted jigs, like your football jigs, this is just another way to simply turn what you've got into one. Okay, so what we have today, we have a TT jig head. I like the TT jig because they've got that um, headlock, yeah? Yeah, the headlock. Okay, then we got uh, plastic, whichever plastic you want to use. We are using a power bait today by Berkeley. Okay, and then you get one of these stuff, right? It's called a one-touch uh, rubber from Decor. They are like... Powers. Several colors, they come in like red, pink, green, orange, whatever color we've got heaps. They're like, I think $6.99, no sure. Yep. This is really new, two so I'm packet. really, really excited. They come two in a packet. Okay, so Humphrey just threw a green one. So this is how you make any of your, um, you know, just your conventional jig head and your plastic look more attractive, right, in the water. Obviously, when you move it in the water, it just fluffs up and it, you know what I mean? Like a, like a flower kind of thing. Like, but like, Humphrey will show you how to do it. Headlock. There's a little insert hole. Make sure you got to put it in the insert hole. Make yeah, sure you make put sure it in the right you way. Put it in the right way. So there's a flat top and then there's a bubble end. You want to go through the flat top to begin with, and then it's a matter of squeezing him over that headlock. Headlock. Push him down firmly. And the headlocks actually prevents um, it from coming back off. So anything with a headlock, like even I think nitros or some headlocks, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, nitro jig heads and stuff like that also have some headlock. So it prevents the jig from moving down the. So it's clipped in, sitting nicely. And, and you then, know why, Humphrey? Sometimes you don't even need a plastic, like a lot of fish eat yeah, well, just something like that, you know? Not only that, you can also rig it up with like a worm hook. You slide these onto a worm hook and then have like your bullet head. Yeah, so, your cheddar bait. Yeah, so especially like with a bullet head, the bullet head's going to drop and this will flood it down nice and slowly after it. Yeah. So it will be phenomenal on the bass even that way, so... Okay, and um, you want to put yeah. the plastic on for us? And then we can go the plastic on. And just feed him through how you would normally would. And there you have it. So a lot of different colours to choose from. It's just gonna give so much more attractant in the water. It's really good for around. your snapper, really good for your um, you know, your, your bass, bass and stuff like that. Flat your flat head. Yeah, even your jacks, I reckon. Man, Jewies even. Like, yeah. So, these things in the bay, fluttering around like that in front of a Jewie, they'll snap it up. Oh man, crazy. So, guys, this thing just came in today. We are really, really happy and we are always excited to bring new stuff to the shop and then for you guys to play with. So, yeah, the Jackal One Touch Rubber. Transform your jig head and your rubber into something phenomenal. Yeah. Alright, so it's available in both our shops, uh, retail for $6.99. So I'll see you guys in the Gold Coast and Underwood. Thanks for tuning in.